now we come to our third lost fundamental. It's called plane shift. Now it's a hot topic. When I travel to America in particular, club pros and amateurs alike buttonhole me and ask me about plane shift. There are lots of varying views and loads of confusion. Now on page 88 of Modern Fundamentals of Golf, Hogan has another wonderful drawing. At the top of the page, a picture of him standing under the classic pane of glass. But then, lower down on the page, he demonstrates there are two planes. Mr. Hogan felt that he went back in one plane and shallowed to a more into out plane. And he concedes in the text that if you did that, the ball would start just right of target. To understand plane shift, we need to return to first principles. You remember earlier, we had the hammer and the post, and we understood that the most direct blow was the most powerful and the most accurate. We didn't want to affect a glancing blow. We wanted to get a direct blow. Mr. Hogan's interpretation was they went back in perfect plane, moved mildly, and then caught the post a glancing blow. In Hogan's case, it was a very good blow, but it was mildly glancing, and the ball went a little bit to the right of target, as he explained in the book. What I believe should happen, and preferable to Mr. Hogan's interpretation, is that the hammer can go back a little bit off the plane, and then the shift is to the plane. So yes, there is plane shift, but the critical thing is we shift to the plane and not below it. Now the ideal line of blow is in line with the post. I call that the robot plane because I don't think the human being can do it, particularly not in the golf swing. And then, you know, we must allow flair and individuality. What about Jim Furyk and Ireland's Eamon Darcy? have had a wonderful playing careers using a very unusual set of movements. So this I would call the Furyk or the Eamon Darcy plane, where the hammerhead went back in a variety of planes, but both those guys could find the plane in the downswing. You don't hit the ball with your backswing, you hit the ball with the downswing. Does it really matter if the hammer wanders? Not really. As long as you know where the plane is, you're in good shape. I love the phrase, it's not the golfer that knows where the club head should be, it's the golfer that knows where the club head is. Now, that was a blow in the vertical plane. Let's talk now about plane shift in a horizontal plane. Here again is one of my golfing nails, a ball glued to a peg. I put the peg into the post as though I was trying to drive a nail into the wall with my golf hammer. Now, as in the swing plane for the golfer, I want the golf ball opposite my upper sternum. That's the ideal swing plane. In a perfect world, I could move my head and therefore the club head would track in perfect plane. However, we have to keep our head forward and watch the ball as we make our backswing. That's more difficult. The club then has to track in the plane and we have to feel that for ourselves. Now, Mr. Hogan in his book said that he felt he went back in perfect horizontal plane, dropped a little bit and came from the inside. That's the ball traveling to the right of target. What Mr. Hogan actually did, I believe, is this. He had such a wide takeaway, such an athletic movement, the club head tracked a little above the optimum biomechanical plane. Late in his backswing it shallowed and the shift, only a couple of inches, returned to hit the peg at perfect height if he was doing this exercise. So this is Mr. Hogan's movement at the horizontal level, a bit above the plane and to it. If I incline forward I can address the ball at floor level. And again, it's like driving a nail into the wall. I'm driving that ball down playing with the club head. So again, Mr. Hogan's wide takeaway took him above that optimum biomechanical swing plane only for him to shallow and therefore he shallowed to the plane. So that's the key. You don't shallow below the plane at impact, you shallow to the plane at impact. Now, having discovered that there's a plane shift, some people confuse that with shaft plane. And we need to separate those two subjects and look at them clearly. Mm -hmm.